in this problem, I have a complicated capacitor network where if I look at C1, it's in series with a parallel combination of C2 and C3. And our goal is to simplify this thing down to a single equivalent capacitance. Where I'm going to start with this is to highlight these two nodes and say, okay, C2 and C3 are clearly in parallel because the high side of these two capacitors is directly connected with resistanceless wire. So they're guaranteed to have the same potential there. And their low sides are connected with resistanceless wire. So they're guaranteed to have the same potential there, which happens to be zero because it's connected to the low side of the battery. So when you have a guarantee of equal potential difference for the circuit elements in these two branches, I can conclude that they're in parallel. My first step, I'm going to draw an arrow to a simplified circuit, and I'm just going to make a note of what I'm doing here. I'm finding an equivalent capacitance, which is C2 plus C3. And I'm going to go ahead and compute it right now. You just add the two capacitances, so that's 110 microfarads. Then we redraw the circuit with the equivalent in place. Okay, at my next step, I see that I clearly have a series relationship between C1 and then the first equivalent capacitance of 110 microfarads. And I want to get an equivalent for this. And at that point, I'll be down to one single equivalent capacitance. And I would say my circuit is simplified. So I'd like to make a note of what formula I'm using. This is the series capacitor formula. And I'll go ahead and just plug the numbers in right here since there's space to do it. So 1 over CEQ is 1 over C1. That's 1 over 75 plus 1 over C2. So that's 110. And I like to do these all at once in my calculator. By the way, we're allowed to use the microfarads as our units here. As long as there's microfarads in every denominator, that does not cause a problem. And my capacitance will come out in microfarads. So I'm going to type in my calculator 1 over 75 plus 1 over 110 and press enter. Then I say 1 over that answer and I get its reciprocal and that's CEQ. When I do this, I get 44.6 microfarads. And I redraw my circuit. And so this gives me the answer to question A. My total equivalent capacitance is 44.6 microfarads. Question B asks me to compute the total energy stored in the capacitor network. So we showed in a previous example that if I look at the energy stored in the equivalent capacitor, it turns out to be the same thing as the sum of the energies stored in the individual capacitors. So I don't have to go back and solve for all the details of all these individual capacitors. I can just find the total energy stored in that one equivalent capacitor, and it's going to give me the correct answer. Recall that the energy stored in a capacitor is 1 half CV squared. And to three sig figs, I get 3,210 microjoules, which is a bit awkward. So I'm going to change it into millijoules. That's a factor of 10 to the third difference. So this is 3.21 millijoules. If you find the physics content on Zach's Lab helpful, click on the Zach's Lab logo on the right to browse playlists and subscribe to the channel. I produce over 100 new videos per month, and subscribing is the easiest way to find new content. Thanks for watching.